So back in Alaska, Wrangell Mountain, Snake Genetics, and the last few years, this uh, Ultima Thule Outfitter's been producing some stompers. Two of the last, I think, three or four years, they've killed the number one ram in North America. We're here opening morning, so pretty awesome to be back to Alaska. We saw 14 rams the first day. He was the only one that would have been legal by definition, but we ended up getting moved. That day was a beautiful day, the only day we lived out of our rain gear, and we got moved up to the higher country, and and uh, looks like you're on the face of Mars. They're, you're like, what can these sheep eat? And every once in a while you see a pocket of green in a, a little basin, and you're like, all right, there's some sheep. And uh, second day we saw, after we got moved there, we saw a group of five rams, two of which were legal, and we, we cat and mouse them for a while, just trying to make sure they weren't, we weren't walking away from something we shouldn't. And we got close, you know, killing range of these 250 to 350 yards and took pictures of them. One was a long kind of a flare and steer horn, almost looking ram, but he was like nine. The other one looked almost like a carbon copy of the ram that I'd already shot, but probably an inch or two shorter. If I end up taking one of these rams like this home, probably happy passes. This is day two and uh, we, we walk. We saw the ram. I saw the ram I'm gonna kill. He's clear up on that mountain there. We got we got in on him about 900 yards, but he was just way up high. He's where he's safe, and uh, we're gonna give it another day. It's only day four. I don't want to rush it. He's a good enough ram. We're just gonna pick our moment to get in there and kill him. So snuck out of there, can make some dinner, get a good night's sleep, and get up early, early. Get in there on him all day and try to hopefully make some mistakes. The third day we wake up, we start going up camp, and he was finally out of the cliffs right where the talus met, and he fed and fed and fed and let us close the distance. So I get on there, steep uphill angle, I had my binos on, so I put my binos up perfectly under the butt of my gun so I wasn't touching it. I shot one right over his back. I swore I punched him because he kind of does this herky-jerk thing like, what was that? And you know, then he's out of the viewfinder, right? And so I didn't range find him. I just said, aim low. So I just aim low, boom. And I could see it rock him. I thought, hit him again. He staggers, rolls down the mountain dead. There he lays, Jay. He's a little banged up from the fall. <clears throat> But he's just toad, he's awesome. Huh? Buddy. You just shot a giant. He's a stud. Worth passing up those other four Oh ones? yeah. That's what you pass him up for, for a big boy. We'll get him cleaned up. Congratulations, bud. Thank you. Here we are, we got him all cleaned up. What a freaking ram. Uh, my guy, Jay Stanford. 
and I hunted this thing for three days. He lived way high, high in these cliffs. Um, he knew where he was safe. And we just was patient and let a couple days tick by, but we learned the route in here, kind of learned what he was doing. And bit by bit, he started coming a little lower on the mountain. This morning, we saw him as we we're hiking up and we're like, we're gonna kill him today. And uh, he bedded only a couple of hundred yards up in the cliffs from where he was feeding. Took us all day, we still didn't kill him till 5.30. Nothing happens fast up here, this is huge country. But what a freaking sheep. Uh, sheep of my dreams, a doll sheep. You dream of one like this, but you know, when you come hunting them, you don't really think that this is really what you're gonna bring home, but uh, I get to bring this one home, and I'm very humble, and I'm very thankful, and thanks to Jay and all the Petunia Outfitters. Uh, it's awesome. We didn't, we did not live out of our rain gear for more than probably four hours on this hunt, but that's the way it goes sometimes. And uh, we passed some nice rams, uh, and this specific ram wasn't what I thought would be the result of passing those others, but. You're not gonna shoot one like this if you shoot a nice one earlier on. So I'm sure glad I passed those rams earlier on. And uh, anyway, get to take him home with me.